Hi, I'm Brie McKee and here's the news you need to know in 90 seconds. Number one, the Victorian state budget is out and Daniel Andrews is coming for your money. After being subjected to the world's longest lockdowns, Victorians will now be hit with extra taxes for 10 years to pay for pandemic measures. Everyone is a loser here and it must be bad, even the public servants are losing their jobs. Number two, in federal parliament, legislation to facilitate the voice department is set to pass after the Greens agreed to support the government. During the debate, opposition leader Peter Dutton again warned The Voice could infiltrate every aspect of life, fundamentally changing our government, education and services. Number three, the cost of living crunch shows no sign of slowing down, with grocery price rises now outpacing inflation. New research shows fresh food prices climbed by 10% in April, while dry grocery goods were up by 9.4%. This is on top of inflation and rising mortgage and energy bills. Australians are doing it tough. Number four, the Thought Police at Sydney's Australian Museum have decreed that colonial statues must be toppled. Apparently, public memorials celebrating our pioneers are colonising young minds with racist history. It's a wonder Australia is still known as one of the world's most tolerant nations. That's it for this week. To become a Generation Liberty member or to learn more about Generation Liberty's work to advance freedom on university campuses, visit generationliberty.org.au.